Here's how to do a two-point calibration on a Mettler Toledo NPRO 3250 analog pH sensor using an M400 one-channel transmitter. This M400 model was produced from 2008 to 2018. If yours looks different, please find our calibration video on the next generation of M400. For a two-point calibration, use pH4 and pH7 buffers. The first thing you have to do is extract the sensor from the process. It's important to mention that the sensor has to be at approximately the same temperature as the buffer when calibrated. Therefore, if the process is hot or cold, you may have to wait for the sensor to reach ambient temperature. Before you start to calibrate, you need to rinse the sensor with distilled water in order to remove any possible contamination, then dry it. Don't rub the sensor, but gently pat it dry. Rubbing can induce an electrostatic charge, which can affect the measurement. On the transmitter, select the calibration menu by clicking on the calibration button. You will be required to pick the channel the sensor is connected to. Since this is a one-channel transmitter, you have only one channel, so select channel A. Then select two-point calibration and press enter. The transmitter display indicates that the sensor should be put in the first buffer. Mettler Toledo transmitters can automatically detect buffers as they have a Mettler Toledo buffer table preset on them pH 7 or pH 4 first. The transmitter will automatically detect which one it is. In this case, we're using pH 7 buffer first. Press the enter button and on the screen you will see that it's detected pH 7 buffer and it's calibrating the first point. Now the transmitter instructs you to put the sensor into the second buffer. In this case, it's pH 4. Remove the sensor from the first buffer, rinse it again with distilled water, pat it dry, and place it into the second buffer. Press the Enter button to do the calibration. Now you can see on the M400 transmitter that the sensor was calibrated with the displayed slope in percentage value and a zero point in pH value. You can now adjust the sensor by clicking Enter. This saves the calibration data and stores the values for the zero point and slope on the transmitter. Now your sensor is calibrated successfully.